I'm not sure I understand any of this. Well, it's simple. You take a suite at the Fairview Hotel for tomorrow night. And then you call up Sue Ellen and ask her to come over for a little talk. Why would she possibly show up? Well, curiosity. I have a feeling she thinks there's something going on between us. She just doesn't know what it is yet. And if she does show up, what am I supposed to say? Well, if everything goes as I expect it will, you'll probably say something like, uh, Oh, my God. This is the last straw, you bastard. Well, worked like a charm, didn't it? Teresa, take these two, and I, I'm thinking about these two. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Well, what's going on here? Ben, I think it's rather obvious. Uh, Teresa, I wonder if I could speak to Mrs. Ewing Loan for a few minutes. Let me explain. Well, there's nothing to explain, J.R. I know you all too well. And I guess it had to come to this sooner or later. Darling, I've tried to be faithful to you, but I just can't seem to be able to do it. Well, that's all right. You've always had a difficult time being faithful to me. Well, I'm truly sorry. I can't blame you for leaving. How nice of you. Well, I don't know. Uh, I guess I deserve this for everything I put you through. No, give it a second thought. I don't. Well, it's going to be difficult for me around here and John Roth. But I just want you to know that you can come visit him anytime you want to. I won't have to come anywhere to see him. Huh? I'm not going anywhere. I think South Fork is a fine place to raise my son. Well, what's all this packing about? So I can move back to my own room. Because I'm not doing what you thought I'd do. I'm not giving you a divorce. You mean you still want to stay here with me? Not with you. You see, we're going to lead separate lives. Like the old days. You know, uh, an open relationship. Well, I'm not sure that that's what I want. <laughs> as far as I can see, you don't have a choice. Teresa, could you please uh, help me put these things in my room? Thank you very much. Uh, See you at breakfast. 